Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel Smiles Per Gallon. How is everybody today? I hope you're feeling above average. Just out for a little ride on my bike, see where the wind takes us again. Back in hell, better slow down. Shortage on fuel, for fuck's sake, man. Oh, look, government is saying it's not a shortage on fuel. We've got loads of fuel, it's just with no drivers to deliver the fucker. <laughs> Every petrol station now near me seems to be dry. <laughs> you know, great in it. Two cars and two bikes. Can't get any petrol for them. <laughs> great, fucking hell. Still no way on this planet. No way on this planet alive that I am going to queue up for miles just for petrol. I'd rather like buy a push bike, you know, and cycle everywhere and get fit in process. <laughs> and there's actually pictures of people on Facebook filling the car up, and then they've got like, I don't know, 60 jerry cans all in the line, and they're filling them up as well. <laughs> How crazy is it? You know what I mean? Go out and buy loads of bog rolls, you know, that's the type of people, aren't they? You know, cleaning it shelves. Or food off shelves and that, and bog rolls and stuff, and panic buying for no friggin' reason. But they'll soon get these, you know, the, the petrol stations filled up again. You know, everybody's gone out panic buying and then everything's dried up. If they'd just gone out and need, used what they needed, you know what I mean? And then there's idiots like me, flapping ass off the bikes and burning it all off. <laughs> Hypocrites! And you do know, don't you? Price is going to go up on fuel. Definitely. As soon as we get some fuel in the petrol stations, it's going to zoom up, I don't know, £500 a litre or something. Great. Same with bus drivers, there's a shortage on bus drivers as well, they've all gone driving wagons, so what gets me is how comes a shortage on lorry drivers, you know what I mean, when there's a shortage on bus drivers as well, and these bus drivers are supposed to go on lorry driving, don't make any sense to me, don't make any sense at all, I just can't understand it, honestly, it's what, what they're doing, are they like pulling people and just shooting them, and everybody's disappearing, I don't know, this Covid just seems to have had a massive effect, Massive knock on effect on it on everything. Really, really strange. And, and wait for it. Fly tipping. Fly tipping is on the increase as well. Everywhere you go, somebody's dumped some fucking shit somewhere. It's really, really doing my boxing. Stop fucking tipping shit. You queue up for petrol, you can queue up at the council tip, can't you? Frig's sake, honestly. It's like, oh look, I've got some shit to tip, what shall I do? I know what, I'll have a drive in the middle at night in the countryside 
and I'll fucking tip it there. You know, ruin all the countryside by throwing shit everywhere, bags of shit and stuff and all, and all that. Why aren't you just going to, instead of queuing up at petrol station, because you're not, obviously not going to queue up at council tip, why don't they just go out, you know what I mean, and and just get the petrol on a night as well, you know what I mean, save queuing, because I'm sure people like queuing up at three in the morning, but they're dumping their shit everywhere, aren't they? And I bet it's these panic buyers that are dumping shit as well, when you think about it. Because they're buying that much stuff, they've got that much waste, they can't fill the wheelie bins up, they can't go tip it at that council tip. So they decide to come into the countryside at three in the morning and tip it in there. Proper infuriates me, stop it. Anyway, rant over, rant over, I promise. Rant over, honestly, I'm going to stop ranting. Hope everybody's alright, and I know it's none of you guys tipping shit, so... I'm not trying to insinuate that, but if these people that are watching this, and you are shit tippers, please, please, don't subscribe to my channel. In fact, no, subscribe, because then I might get you out of it by calling you all out, shit tippers. <laughs> Only joking, by the way. Going through K wood now, cow wood, whatever. Cow wood, is it cow wood? I'm saying, call it K wood. Oh, with the old swing bridge.
if you've got this far ladies and gentlemen and you've not subscribed to my channel could you could you please do so I promise you there's some really exciting content coming up a bit of a late indication there from that guy in front it's a good job I didn't go for overtech I'd have been toasted Yeah, so gym's going really well. Me and my lads are going training. He's only 14, uh, six foot. Towers over me. And uh, he's training with me. He said he wants to get into it. So I've, uh, me and his mum, we've signed him up and we're taking him turns at taking him to the gym. Um, so yeah, we love it. He's loving it, his lad. So um, proud of him, honestly. He's uh, doing well. He's doing well. So am I as well. But I've uh, done some damage to my knee. I don't know. I think I've been sat driving with bus in an awkward position and it's it's not damaged should I say I've just like I don't know I've pulled some of it. I think it's you know getting old isn't it getting an old man and and stuff like that it's just uh, one of them things so yeah I've damaged my knee but never mind it, I'll take some ibuprofen and uh, and man up as they say <laughs> never too old to ride motorbikes though yeah to be honest, I think um, if you, when you stop riding motorbikes, that's when you start getting old. <laughs> I must say though, since I've been back at gym and you know doing some training and stuff, I've uh, I've started feeling loads and loads better on this, and I am noticing effects of it as well. You know, um, you know, I'm feeling fitter, I'm feeling lighter, a bit lighter on my toes. I know my knees a bit knackered, but you know. I am feeling a lot lighter on my feet, so it's uh, it's not a bad thing really. And I went on treadmill the other day and I even had a little jog. <laughs> not for long like, because you know, I like to have a brisk walk on treadmill, but yeah, I had a bit of a walk as well. Tough it now. Jeez, got some power this bike. Jesus Christ, it's like me. The eyeballs come back into the sockets. <laughs> You can go fast and still be safe, you know. It's got to be really, really aware and use your mirrors and keep looking ahead. You know, know the road. That's what it's about. Yeah. Not going too fast, so I'm not breaking the speed limit. So, you know, I'm not really riding dangerous. Just having a little bit of fun in this beautiful weather. I tell you something, it is hot today. Really, really hot. Make it most of it though, because I've heard um, yeah, next week's going to be a bit shit. So, yeah, make it most of it nice weather. And I bet everybody's doing the same. People will be lubing the bikes up, putting them in the shed and that at weekend. So, yeah. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Please ride safe with your altar bits. See you later.